Hey, you now it's good afternoon, friends. Um, I posted a YouTube video earlier walking my dog Lulu. So now I'm coming back on to have you help me walk my dog Penelope and Sunny. So I'm going to turn my camera around. Um, as I stated in my previous video, if you had logged on to my YouTube channel and you've seen my beautiful, wonderful dog Lulu uh, and you love my dogs, uh, please follow me on my YouTube channel at missy and ted's adventures with our four-legged friends click the bell so that you receive any new content that i post regarding my wonderful beautiful four fur babies so we are out for a walk i took my dog lulu for a walk earlier today um, because she is a beagle boxer and she's a little on the chunky side so she gets overheated quickly so i took her for a walk um, earlier this morning, it was probably about 8 o'clock this morning, uh, so that she gets her exercise in. I try to exercise my dogs on a daily um, basis um, as much as possible. Same for myself to keep my, um, my stamina up and get my exercise because I am a gastric bypass patient, two and a half years post-op. So I try to exercise and walk as much as possible. My dog Sunny and Penelope are two smaller dogs. They do get cold easily. It is a hot day out today. Um, it's headed near 90 today. It's still early enough where they'll be okay on their walk. I did give them a bunch of water prior to leaving. So um, here's a tip when I'm walking these two little babies or any of your pets. Make sure they're good and um, watered. They had their breakfast. Um, so they're good and plenished. Um, I'm not going on a very long walk today just due to the nature of the humidity today. Um, I am in Ohio. If you follow me on my YouTube channel and watch some of my previous videos, I am in Ohio. Um, our weather can be shoddy at times, but this week it's been on in the 90s. So I try to walk my dogs early. And then in the evening, either right before dinner or right after dinner, we'll take all four of our dogs for a um, evening walk when it's cooler. A lot of times when it gets this humid, we put our dogs in the pool. And then in the evening after they're cooled off, then we take them for a walk. Um, but they had plenty of water. And uh, when we get back, they'll get some more water and treats. And then I have the air conditioner on in my home. So um, they'll be able to get cooled off. But they were already shivering. So I figured I'd go ahead and take them out for a nice walk to enjoy this beautiful, gorgeous day. So you'll hear my voice throughout the walk. Um, just to give you a history on these dogs. Um, and then you'll hear my voice, but you'll see my cute little dogs. So the dog on the left, his name is Sonny. He's a Chihuahua. He is a mixed breed. We're unsure on what the mix is. So just a little bit of a history. We adopted him from Angel's Rescue at the Cleveland Browns training camp. Um, they were unsure of his mix, but he's definitely a Chihuahua. Um, he is um, um, the most lovable dog you can ever have. Uh, he's a mommy's boy. I will tell you that anytime mommy's out of sight, he cries, he looks for me, he follows me. Um, so he's definitely a mommy's boy. He loves daddy, but he'll give daddy kisses and love, but he'll jump right back on mommy's lap. Or if mommy gets up to use the potty or cook or cleaning or just doing some laundry just out of his sight, he has to look for me. He, now he will go to daddy, but as soon as mommy comes back, then he's right back there and this is Penelope um, she was a rescue dog as well um, now the family that I adopted her from um, they had to give her up because they had children and Penelope it, Penelope's really skittish around children she doesn't hate them she just gets very skittish and nervous around them um, it, when I first adopted her from this family uh, the reason that they had to give her up, they didn't want to give her up. They loved her. But one of the reasons why they gave her up is because they had small children at the time. And they were unable to um, have her in the home because the children always wanted to pick up Penelope and play with her. Um, sorry about that. Um, I bumped my phone on my walk. Um, but they wanted to pick up and play with her and she just, 
isn't really that type of dog. Um, she's a little bit independent, but she's needy when it comes to like mommy. Um, but for children, she just not built that way. She like Sunny in, is the same way. Lulu and my dog Harley love kids. They love to play with kids. They love to be petted. They like the attention. These guys are um, a little bit skittish. Um, you have to take your time with them and be gentle with them. They see another dog, so I'm going to have to get them past this dog. All right, babies. Um, so they love chasing squirrels. They love meeting new dogs. And, that, and we just passed a house that had a dog, so that's why they're barking and getting all excited. Um, so with Penelope... Um, the the first dog here on the left, um, they gave her up just for the reasons of like the children just wanted to play with her and pick her up and hold her and she just isn't that type of dog. Um, she is a mommy's girl. She's another one that's like sunny. Um, they they love being by mommy. So with my other dog that you've seen in my previous video, Lulu. Um, if you're following my YouTube channel and you caught that video, um, she's independent and Harley's independent. They do like petted. They do like the attention, but they get their attention and then they just go on about their day where these guys want to be attached to mommy at the hip. So these are the two that I mentioned in that video that like to be attached to mommy. And uh, it's hard to get up and do anything because they want to follow me throughout the house. And sometimes they get bored and they go down and lay on the couch. Um... They keep getting out of camera sight, so until they stay in the camera. Um, Uh-oh, you got a branch on you, baby. Um, then I'll turn the camera back around on these cute little guys. But, uh, yeah, so Penelope, um, previous to that family that I adopted her from, uh, we are unsure where they got her from. I don't know if they rescued her. I believe she was a rescue dog, so she's a rescue on a rescue. Um <clears throat> So we try to rescue all of our dogs that we have. Um, we have four dogs and all rescues. So Penelope, we think, was abused by a man or a male um, or some kind of male figure. We're unsure of that. But she was very, very skittish around men. So the lovely family that we adopted her from had did let us know about being skittish around the children and why they were adopting her out. Um, the other thing is, is that she had a hard time being around any, any man or any male um, figure. Um, so she was, she didn't like to be next to them. She didn't like to be petted by them. Um, so she was so attached to me when we first adopted her. Um, anytime I got up and used the restroom or just left the room, she was right at my feet, like literally in between my feet. Sometimes I tripped over, um, in between my feet and following me everywhere. So over a period of time with my husband slowly working with her and myself, um, she did become a little bit of a daddy's girl. She loves her daddy now. She has no problem with daddy. Um, now we are working with her. So any man or male that comes into our home or by her, we let them know ahead of time that she may growl, she may um, skid away. We don't know if she would nip at them. It just depends upon how threatening they feel. Um, I did have an incident where my friend, she didn't do it on purpose. It's an instinct of hers. I'm not sure my dogs are cute little dogs, but Penelope, the spotted dog here, um, there was an incident where I had my friends over. They were enjoying our pool. And they're going to be going in and out of the camera. So I apologize if you just see some sidewalk. Um, he approached her from behind. But he wasn't going to pet her or pick her up. He was just getting out of the pool. Approached her from behind. She got scared. Um, her instinct of the, ma of the man, a male figure... Uh, kicked in and she nipped him on the ankle a little bit, but she didn't mean it. We explained to our friend. We're so sorry and uh, I mean he understood. He was very understanding when we apologize and stuff and you know everything's good, but we've been working with her for years now on get, uh, getting them you know acclimated to other people, children, things like that, but especially her 
we had to acclimate her to feel comfortable around men. So my husband, she feels really comfortable around. Um, but it depends upon the type of male that approaches her. Um, we have two male friends that she barks at, growls at, and has nipped at. Um, so we have to be careful and we have to warn people, step back, because we do, we're unsure on, you know, whether she's going to like them or not. So if they want to pet her, we just don't, uh, we don't, we don't allow it. We just say no. But if they want to, we have to warn them, you know, just be careful. Now, she don't bite. She just nips because it's an instinct because for whatever reason, uh, prior to the, the family that we adopted her from, come on babies, they, they like to sniff, uh, she, we feel that she was abused by some type of male. So on a couple of our male friends, there's only two of the male friends that come around that she's very, very skittish around and that growls and the only thing that we see in common is tattoos um so we're wondering if the person that had abused her had tattoos there's some distinctive markings on certain men that she notices and that gives us an indication that it's a possibility that that was the type of person that abused her now, we've been working on her since we got her. She's also five years old. Sunny's also five years old. Uh, we just got all of our dogs except for Harley. Harley's only eight months old. We got him last September. Um, he was only four weeks old um, at the time. So, he's still, he's getting ready to turn nine weeks, or excuse me, nine months. Um, but we've been working with her for years. We got her in 2018. She was already a year old. We got Sonny at the Cleveland Browns training camp. Um, and he was already a year old. And this was 2018 as well. So we got Lulu, Penelope, Sonny, and then Harley in that order. So Sonny's a good boy. He goes to anybody, lets anybody pet him. He'll let you know if he's a little skittish. He does not bite. He shies away. But if you put your hand down, let him sniff, then he'll let you. Um, and then Penelope, if we're holding her, she'll let people um, pet her, such as our friend that she nipped at when he got out of the pool. But it was just a... I think it because if you go to pet her from the behind, she, she'll jump. That's a very indication that she was more than likely abused as a pup and uh, I don't like to think about that it breaks my heart it makes me want to cry come on babies um but the family that we adopted them from loved her they try to work on her as best as possible but they both worked and they just had a hard time um you know getting her to the point where she was comfortable around men so my husband and I had more time and we were able to, able to work with her. So if we take her to like Lowe's or to get ice cream or out in public, she'll let um, some men pet her. But there's a, it just depends on their demeanor, their attitude, their presence, if they have any tattoos or distinctive markings. So we look for that and we tell them just to proceed with caution and careful. But she's been doing much, much better. Um, she, we were at Lowe's a couple weeks ago and a gentleman had bent down and, and uh, started to pet her. Uh, we were actually in the checkout line. So like we were trying to pay attention to checking out and didn't realize he did that. She allowed him to pet her just fine. She actually approached him on her own to let him pet her. Um, Sunny was with her. They're usually with each other. So that's why I walked them together. Harley was out this morning. Um, playing for a little bit um, I may do a video on Harley because uh, I did Lulu and I did Sunny and Penelope so I'm gonna upload a video on Harley out playing with his stuffed animal so you can see what my puppy does so if you want to follow my YouTube video for more of these cute videos 
and just some demographic background on my pups to get to know them. That's what these videos are mainly for. I'm taking them for a walk and just giving you some demographics and background on my puppies. So whenever I upload new content with them, then you already know their names and know who they are, how they were adopted, and how they became to be in our, our lives and part of our family. And Harley, um, he's still a pup. He's eight months old. Um, he's very active. He loves his stuffed animals and his toys, but that will be a separate video from this. So fast forward to now, Penelope's doing a lot better around men. Um, she still gets skittish. Like I said, there has to be like a distinctive marking that gets to her at times. And it's also how you approach her. You have to approach her from the front. She has to see you approaching her from the front. If you approach her from the back, even myself. Even though she loves her mommy, she'll jump. She's been better about that these last few years. Um, and like I said, if she likes you, she'll, you know, walk up and let you pet her. Um, but I think when we rescued her, we found out from that family that we rescued her from that more than likely there was some type of abuse with her from a male because she was very extremely scared and uh, wouldn't even go near my husband for a few months. And he just took his time with her, and she trusted him, so she has to trust you. Um, but like I said, she gets jumpy with noises, uh, lightning, fireworks, which is on most dogs, but I'm talking about any type of noise. Um, if she hears the mailman just kind of put mail in the box, and the box lid slams, she jumps. Um, she does go and run to the window. Any little noise she hears, it could be a car door, it could be the mailman, it could be like a FedEx person, it could be the neighbors just going in and out of their home or uh, going somewhere, uh, going in and out of the home or going somewhere, uh, she'll go run and look out the window and bark. So that's just her. And Sonny's usually good about that, but he sees her do it, so he likes to do it. Harley doesn't really do it. Uh, Lulu will bark, but... She don't always jump in the window. These two are the worst about the window, especially her. A lot of times he'll be sleeping on the couch. I call it chillaxing, but she's the one that's very jumping, has to go to the window. And I call it being nosy and peeking out to see what's going on. She's the nosy body of the house. So she has to peek out the window to see what all the noise is. It might be hard to hear because I am on a main road um, headed towards the end of our destination here shortly. Um, but I just wanted to give you some demographics and background on these two. The last video I, I will upload the demographics and background on is Harley. Uh, it's hard to do that when you guys can't see him in the video. So I'm going to go home and let him out and let him play. Let these guys cool off and get some water and treats and lay down. And I'm going to let Harley out for a little while. Um, to let him out and play and then I could do a video on him um, but these guys they go bye byes a lot they're easier to handle they're smaller dogs uh, they, they cooperate more she is a barky dog though so when we do take her somewhere and uh, let's say we pull up to a Walmart parking lot or a Circle K for example um, or if we're just going through drive through or even if we're at a stoplight and a car pulls up next to us, she has to get in the window and bark. So she is a little bit of a barky dog, not him. He's very rare on that. Now my dog Lulu, um, the bigger dog, the Beagle Boxer that you may have seen in my previous video that I uploaded this morning. Um, she also is a barker, Harley is not. So I have two dogs that kind of bark a lot um, whenever people's around or we're at a stoplight, etc. Um, and then two dogs that are just like, whatever, I'm napping or I'm playing with my toy. So we got a mixture of style of dogs and how their attitude and demeanor is. They're very lovable. They're very caring. Um, they're, they're definitely my best friends. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my video so far on my dogs. Um, I'm blessed. Uh, Penelope does not seem to have any type of medical problems or issues. Sunny, um, the only issue that we've had with Sunny is about a month ago we had a really bad scare. We had a birdie pass away. Um, that, that's another YouTube story in itself that I can do. 
Um, and I believe I did uh, upload a small video about my bird um, and what happened tragically. Uh, but the day after my sonny, my chihuahua here, had a seizure and it was pretty bad. Um, he, I don't want to go into details because it makes me sad and I just, um, he has to be seen with a vet and they have to make the determination after doing some blood work on whether or not he's going to have to be on medication. Um, at the time, uh, when we discussed it with them, they didn't feel like he was having them often enough to be warranted on a medication. So they said to keep a close eye on him and watch him, that it could have been a fluke. Also, they said it could have been maybe something he ate or got into to keep an eye on him. But if he had another one, that's when they have more of a concern and they're going to do more like blood work and make the determination if he'll have to be on medication. Um, it was probably about a year ago. I want to say he did have a seizure. I want to say that the very, very first one that I ever noticed, I thought was the worst. Um, he was very lethargic, couldn't get up, couldn't walk, um, didn't have any energy. He did bounce back the next day and he was sunny again. And then we didn't see anything until just about a month ago. Um, so the vet, you know, is is concern obviously because it's a dog and you got to wonder why they're having seizures um, but I believe from my understanding from the vet that chihuahuas can be prone to that um, and we just have to keep an eye out for them to, um, and that's what we're doing at the moment but if that ever occurs again we will definitely get him in now it's a possibility that he might have had many ones um, but I haven't really noticed except for the bigger the bigger ones um it was a concerning one she's she and harley are probably about the healthiest in my previous video i talked about lulu having the bladder stones his is just the seizures um other than that other than that he's pretty healthy and they're both very active as you can see um and they get lots of walks they do go bye-byes a lot more than the other dogs uh just because lulu um it's hard for her to travel distances a lot with her bladder stones. So if we're going to be on a long car ride, we have to either make frequent stops. Um, she definitely can't have ice cream due to the bladder stones. So a lot of times you'll see these two go. Harley likes to go get ice cream too, but sometimes it's hard to get him in the car. Because um, he'd rather chew on a bone. Uh, play with a stuffed animal run run around the yard and so we try to coax him in the car and we just he just jumps right back out so a lot of times we just bring him a treat home um but i just want to say thank you for watching my video i am coming up on my road so i'm coming up to the end of my journey i'm going to get these guys home get them um a bunch of water it is hot out today get them uh some treats see if they want any lunch um, but yeah, this is just some demographics on my other two pups. The last one, my fourth pup is Harley. So stay tuned and follow my next YouTube video, hopefully today on Harley. Uh, just to give you some demographics. The reason for these videos is to give you guys an idea of my dogs, their demeanor, attitude, personality. Um, that way when you do enjoy my other videos that I upload, whether it's hiking, getting ice cream, puppy cubs, just doing a walk, um, or some sort of adventure, then you already know my dogs and their background and their history. So that's what, what this video is about. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more fun videos and adventures with my four-legged friends. Um, I have four pups. I love them very much. They get spoiled. Um, I can't tell you how much like Easter and Christmas they totally get spoiled by Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Uh, we just love them so much. They bring so much joy, peace, and happiness into our lives. I do, I do suffer from depression and anxiety really bad, and they definitely, most definitely help with that. Um, so please subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoy all of my videos. Um, it is at Missy and Ted's Adventures with Our Four-Legged Friends. Click the bell. 
The bell just notifies you any new content that's posted. So if you're interested in watching, that's wonderful. P please like and comment. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything specific with them. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'm open to anything. Um, yeah, thank you so much and have a great day, everybody.